helper. Call for help. If you've got a problem with your personal confuser, don't whine, no moan, don't yell. See you later. Yeah. Good day on Axe Play. Foul play in Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Blood spews in Gladiator, Sword of Vengeance. And Command and Conquer asks an important question. How are you enjoying the shock and awe, General? I'm not partial to the shock. It's game time. The Virgil to your Dante in this gaming inferno, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Hello and welcome to X-Play. Today's show is it's like a slow descent from heaven into hell. Mm, we begin today with a light-hearted racing title. And we end with a game so unspeakably violent that we wrote the review in blood. Yes, an intern's blood. Along the way, we'll review an egg-filled title from Sonic Team. And a platformer featuring a deadly boomerang. And an expansion pack for a warlike, real-time strategy game. Until we reach a stunningly vicious gladiator title. But we start with a game suitable for everyone, Kirby Air Ride. Yes, Kirby, that big pink ball that sucks things. He first appeared on the Game Boy in 1992 in Kirby's Dreamland, and perhaps he was dreaming about being a character with either limbs or dignity. Now, despite having <laughs> no appendages or prehensile body parts, he's learned to drive. It's very inspirational. And it's like frightening. The, it's like the blind guy who learned to climb Everest. Yeah, I know. The view from there is wonderful. Mm. All right. Here's our review for a game about a pink ball that drives and sucks things. Kirby's Air Ride. Kirby, what is he? Well, whether he be a goiter, a polyp, or a tumor, it's generally assumed that Kirby is benign. That's definitely true in his latest outing, Kirby's Air Ride. Here, that pus-filled sack of fun flies around on everything from a friendly hover star to a shaved ice vendor's carriage in an attempt to achieve glory as the fastest of four amoebic competitors. Well, of course, Kirby's the best. He's bright and pink, or what my Crayola box used to call flesh. Well, since it's a Kirby title, you know there's going to be a lot of sucking. <laughs> This time, he's in full suck mode. In fact, he's sucking on the level of Cuban Gooding Jr.'s career. But he's not sucking just air on this ride. The racetracks are littered with enemies that, after being sucked, can be spit back out to attack opponents, or Kirby can just swallow them to absorb their powers. So, little dingle ball bearing swords will give Kirby a sword to hack at others, while these tubby buddies strutting a nice head of lava allow Kirby to throw fireballs. And this just makes Kirby look like he's going to a Papa Roach concert. Poor guy. The tracks themselves are also a lot of fun to race on. Strands of light move you along the track faster. Plus, you have snowy passes and lava flows to contend with. They match the lighthearted tone of the game and keep it visually engaging. Not to say that the game is graphically impressive. It isn't. This would have been impressive in 1998. It's the 21st century now. The game has a second mode that's an interesting throwback. Apparently, someone's been playing off-road. And now you can play it with your last spherical buddy. And there's the city mode. Here you hover around collecting power-ups that you then use in a randomly selected minigame, like this Destruction Derby. All of this is fun, but in the end, it's clear the game is designed for the younger set. The game is very easy, and pretty much what you see here is what you're getting. The game is great for multiplayer, though. The use of the A button as the only button for the game makes it immediately accessible for pick-up-and-play fun when you and three buddies need to live out your fantasies through the Pink Panther's left testicle. Other than that, most adults would do better to seek out deep and more challenging fare. A three out of five. I'm so glad we managed to work a urological reference to the Pink Panther into the show. I know. You know, there really is no depth that we'll sink to to please our audience. It's true. He wore a unitard and a clown wig on this show at the same time. Now, up next, a game where you play a young man in a chicken suit, which is one thing that I haven't made to do yet. And also, it's not a furry's dating sim. Now, it comes to us from Sega and was developed, for, developed by the creator of Sonic the Hedgehog, Yuji Naka, and Sonic Team. So our hopes for this game were pretty high. Here's a review of Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. 
Don't you know the laws pertaining to excessive force around here? I'm sorry, I'll spare you any more expletives. But you, Hatcher, we got a bone to pick with you. So, Mr. E, you're interested in the Billy Hatcher role. The first thing we're gonna test is your ability to recombinate. You can do it! You can do it! <laughs> the story about kidnapped chicken elders in a magic chicken suit will tax the expectations of even the most whimsical of Mario fans. So far, we've got the story and character interaction at an eight-year-old level. And speaking of age-related levels, the environments of Billy Hatcher are uninspired and derivative, colorfully resembling the contents of a kid's pillowcase after Halloween, and equally as nutritious. Gameplay consists of acrobatic balancing, lever pounding, boss beaten, timing accuracy, and puzzle-solving routines that you've done in many games before. The only difference is, you have to drag this annoying egg around. And around, and around. Why is this egg my only friend? Because without it, your character is useless. I just think this is hilarious. in-game poultry product lexicon of shell shading is key to what should be relatively easy level hopping, platformer fans. Each seemingly impossible roadblock has an exact counterpart. This kind of felt like Batman's ability to always have something in his utility belt when a problem arose. It also made gameplay kind of routine after a while. Bosses didn't offer much of a challenge either. Once you figured out their particular kryptonite, dodging their attacks was pretty much a piece of cake. In other levels, you'll be other characters. Bantam here seems to be popular with the local chicks, though we couldn't seem to find any particular strengths he alone possessed. Though sweet and colorful, we find this game tastes no better than a faux egg omelet. We give it a three out of five. So, you're interested in the Billy Hatcher job? That game has the most annoying music mm -hmm. ever. And it's a pretty underwhelming game coming from Team Sonic. I'll have to say that egg in the microwave footage was, that was like the Zap Reader film of the show. <laughs> if you'd like to read our full reviews of either Kirby or Billy Hatcher, check out our website. TechTV.com slash Play. Very good. And mm. stick around because later in the show, we'll reward you with gratuitous violence. It's so much better than the regular violence. Mm. Coming up. Blue hair versus fighting furries in Kaya. Tough ground. I'll see. Call for help. Today at 6, 5 central. Only on Tech TV. Avaya. What is it? First, what it's not. A Caribbean island? Welcome to Avaya. Yeah! Avaya! Everybody say Avaya! Avaya. Avaya. Is a state of pure communications perfection. Here you find IP telephony for about the price of a standard PBX upgrade. And the biggest, most experienced communications services team, hands down. Oh, still not sure what Avaya is? Ask over 90% of Fortune 500 companies. Go on. They know. Reach Avaya. A higher plane of communication. We didn't just give the new Ford F-150 more horsepower. We gave it unsurpassed low-end torque for the most towing strength. Why did we push farther than anyone else? So you could do more than anyone else. Only the next F-150 earned the right to be the 2004 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again. I have important information on how you can earn more money in the IT industry. Right now, businesses are desperate to hire certified IT professionals to secure their networks. You can fulfill this demand and make a great salary by getting IT certified now with Smart Certified Direct's fast and easy training courses. They're self-paced online training for MCSE, Cisco, and A-plus certification allows you to study whenever and wherever you want with 24-hour access to certified instructors, all with a 100% money-back certification guarantee. And right now, 
you can take a free training course title by visiting www.smartcertifieddirect.com or by calling 1-877-TRAINING and mentioning code TECHTV. There's no other obligation. That's on the web at www.smartcertifieddirect.com or toll free at 1-877-TRAINING. Get your free course today. Dear x -Play, how can I play games and watch a fantastic show at the same time? Signed, All Thumbs and Thackeray. Mm, well, Thumbbell, we've made it so easy, even Adam can do it. Play Tech TV's Hyperactive. It's the game you play online while you're watching x -Play. Answer trivia questions, chat, win cool prizes, and more. To play, log on to techtv.com slash hyperactive during x -Play, Monday through Friday nights at 11 Eastern, 10 Central. Watch and win. Play Tech TV's Hyperactive only on Tech TV. Once again, two people who are their own emoticons, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. We have a platformer from Eden Studios who, until now, mostly made the V-Rally racing games. Now they branched out into very new territory for them, and the results are surprisingly good. Here's our review of Kaya, Dark Lineage. Oh, my head hurts. Werewolves, boomerangs, and exorcisms, oh my. This is Kaya, Dark Lineage. You play Kaya, a teenage girl from Brooklyn who discovers a secret world where her half-brother went missing. And her father has turned evil. <laughs> well, when you live in Brooklyn, everyone needs an escape. Frank? Is that you? You're charged with finding your brother and saving your father from the grips of wickedness. But wickedness turns out to be Harry. The medallion is everywhere, in bits and pieces scattered all over our planet. And you could bring it together. Oh my god, a video game where I have to find scattered pieces of a medallion! That's new. Like any kick-ass hero in a platformer, Kaya runs and jumps with the best of them. She sneaks, she rolls, and she kicks. Her weapon of choice? A boomerang. Or boomy. Actually, which doubles as a hair clip. Yes, I said hair clip. You can use this handy item to activate switches, fend off hostile wildlife, or just hold up your dreads. It's like harigami. The wind tunnels are what make this game stand out. In certain areas, the wind will hit you from behind and shoot you down a valley, whip you through caves, and leave you swan diving into deep tunnels. You'll really catch the breeze when you hop on a board that lets you zoom down pipe-like courses like Tony Hawk on speed. Crap! Watch out for those drop-offs. You also use the wind to get to new areas and levels. The main obstacle on your quest is the nasty wolfen, but you have the power to change them back to cuddly natives. Oh, so cute. But they aren't going to stop being bad just because you whacked them in the head with a hair clip. They need tough love, and as soon as you get your hands on a power bracelet, you'll be ready to serve up the swift fist of justice. That's right. Bracelet and a hair clip. You'll also randomly see a powerful blow enhanced with slow motion. Unfortunately, it can be tough to perform specific commands depending on the camera angle. Okay, once you've got them down and out, use your special powers to exorcise the demons out of them. No, not that kind of exorcism. This kind. Along with wolf whacking and wind riding, you'll partake in other activities such as kickballing little creatures and playing mini games in the shopping district. Kaya is an original game, and although it's silly at times and has voice acting that can get on your nerves. Through these elevators, you can get back to all the exits you've opened in only a few seconds. It's just a plain good time. X-Play gives Kaya Dark Lineage a four out of five. <laughs> Mm. Tough crowd, I'll see. Okay, Kai is a lot of fun. I know, I know, you fight evil with a hair clip and a bracelet and you play mini games in the shopping district, but you know, it's, it's not necessarily for girls. Trust me, it's a, it's a fun game. No one thinks Tomb Raider is for girls. No, Tomb Raider isn't for anyone. <laughs> it, well, it is kind of for guys, because you know, you fight evil with your boobs in that game. That's what guys dream of. <laughs> Up next, stating the obvious in Command and Conquer. Tech Live, tonight at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. 
I can assure you the bank's closing costs are very competitive. I'll just open these blinds to let in a little extra light. <laughs> Consolidate bills and lower your monthly payments now with a no closing cost home equity loan from Ditech.com. That's impossible. Get the cash you need now from Ditech.com. Lost another loan to Ditech. Log on to Ditech.com or call 1 800 Ditech 1. True Crime Streets of L.A. Rated M for Mature. Trying to book a vacation, huh? You know where these will get you? There's an easier way to book your vacation. At CheapTickets.com. It's simple. Just click. You're there. And you'll save big when you accessorize your flight with a car or a hotel that you'd actually want to stay in. Just click. You're there. You don't even need a password. How simple is that? Now that I've booked mine, let's do you. Save out Cheap Tickets' first annual spring sale. Cheap Tickets. Just click. You're there. Herbert! They, they cut the cable! Meet the All-American family. There's a bounce in their step and a song in their hearts because... We have DirecTV. Yes, DirecTV. All across the nation, Americans are switching to DirecTV service. Call now and get this great double deal. You'll get up to three rooms for free and over 125 digital quality channels, including your locals, for just $29.99 a month for the first six months. Get the big games, the big names, and more programs on more networks at a better value than good old-fashioned cable. Remember cable? Who could ever forget? I've had cable since I've owned this car. Unlike digital cable, every channel in your programming package is 100% digital quality picture and sound. I love DirecTV. I love DirecTV. Three rooms for free. Act now to get this great double deal. A DirecTV system for up to three rooms free and over 125 channels, including locals, for $29.99 a month for six months. Call today. I've cut the cable. Finally. Once again, Button Mashers, Adam Sessler, and Morgan Webb. Yeah, and that's our gameplay style, too. Welcome back to X-Play, where we continue our descent from kid stuff into mature gameplay. Are you right? Yeah. Okay, we have an expansion pack for Command and Conquer Generals, one of my favorite games ever. I actually dream about playing this game. Really? Yeah, I do. I do. I have dreams about, you know, like the tiny little people shooting the other tiny little people in the... Thanks. Now, an expansion pack for this popular strategy title is hitting the shelves, and I'm thrilled! Here's my review of Command & Conquer General's Zero Hour. Command & Conquer General's Zero Hour is the first expansion pack for Command & Conquer Generals. It takes place in the near future with a three-way conflict between the U.S., China, and an amalgamation of terrorists called the Global Liberation Army. Let's give them an airship. And the expansion pack Zero Hour continues the story from Generals with 15 new missions, 25 new maps, and over 30 additional units and new upgrades. What's Upgrade the mission, sir? Complete. New construction. Oh, most of the new units are simply variations of the old. But that stuff is really to be expected in an expansion pack. I mean, if nothing is expanded, then it's just a pack. Now, there are some more interesting additions. For one, there are new divisions. You can still choose from the three sides, capitalist, commie, or terrorist, but you can also choose from three specialized branches, each led by a different general. Then there's the all-new challenge mode. You play as one general and then take on the others on their home turf. General Alexander versus General Kwai. Don't challenge my tanks, General. You will lose. These are fast-paced, intense skirmishes that expose you to a wide variety of playing styles and terrain, and to an ever-increasing level of difficulty. Each opponent has their own personality as well, and they aren't afraid to mock you. How are you enjoying the shock and awe, General? The original had its share of striking scenery, and the new maps in Zero Hour don't disappoint. The Mediterranean backdrops, in particular, are impressively detailed and colorful. 
course, half the fun is developing your attack force and then blowing up as much of that detailed and colorful stuff as possible. Units and structures show damage, and the explosion effects keep improving. Zero Hour also adds a full motion video to the mix. When you're playing single player, you get news reports from the front lines between missions. Although America's military had the fragmented Global Liberation Army on the run. You also get some nice cutscenes. You know, it's good to know that that tanker is really explosive. Oh, mm, I guess they weren't lying. The cutscenes become not so nice as you can't skip them, no matter how many times you pound your head on the escape key. I mean, everything's nice the first time. Like The Matrix and John Travolta. So for the fast and furious challenge mode and additional subdivisions that make for some of the best strategic warfare you can get without moving anything but your index finger, Command and Conquer General's Zero Hour gets a four out of five. Now, if you don't already own it like me, you can buy Command and Conquer Generals and the expansion pack together. Okay, now I noticed in the game that one of the generals was an attractive blonde, yeah. and the other one looks like Manuel Noriega. Is there no middle ground in this game? No, they're all stereotypes. Oh. Anyway, hey developers, please, please, for me, always include a way to skip the cutscenes. Always. No one wants to watch the really explosive truck roll down the street again and again and again. It's really boring. Really? 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 Yeah. Coming up! Painting the town red in Gladiator's yeah. Sword of Vengeance! I'm Charlie Tuna from Jurassic Park. I'm Mickey Hart. I drum for the Grateful Dead. I think hip hop is, it's like the pulse beat of the people. I use Yahoo Search. I search for music, old music. It speaks for people who, who aren't spoken for. It. Folk music, back porch music. Definitely appreciative of, of Launch for being able to be like an encyclopedia. The roots of the roots. To be able to reach out to what's going on in today's, you know, music. Music engine, search engine, life engine. Yahoo! great credit. Shouldn't you be treated like you do? At eLoan, you are. With cash out refinancing from eLoan, we process your loan differently. From application to instant decision to appraisal, we do it online. That costs less, so you get a great rate. With no lender or appraisal fees, you get your cash out fast in as few as 12 days. You've worked hard for your great credit. The difference is, at eLoan, you're rewarded for it. Apply at eLoan.com slash quick or call 866-ELOAN15. There are three things you can count on in life. Death, taxes, and cable rate increases. Thousands of Americans each day have realized that rising cable rates and poor service are not their only choice. People are switching to Direct TV. Switching from cable has never been easier, especially now that you can get a four-room system for free. With the Direct TV Total Choice Plus, with local channels programming package, you get over 130 channels of your favorite programming with true digital quality picture and sound. And best of all, you get your favorite local channels too. Direct TV also offers premium programming from HBO, Stars, Showtime, Cinemax, plus Sports Pack. Plus, up to 55 pay-per-view choices a day. Plus, you get your choice of the best sports programming available, including NFL Sunday Ticket, exclusively from DirecTV. Your choice has never been easier. Call now to order your DirecTV system for up to four rooms for free. That's a $299 value. And your standard professional installation is always included. Coming up today on Call for Help, how do you know which type of computer is right for you? PC World Magazine wrote an article, oh, all the details, everything you need to know, they're here to help you decide. Plus, Kat has rounded up every Netflix alternative she could get her hands on. She'll tell you what she thinks of them. It's all coming up today on Call for Help. Hacking and slashing their way to you, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. 
Welcome back. Now we've traveled a long way today from cuddly platforms and pink ball creatures all the way to our final game, whose source code might as well be written in blood. This is a hack and sash about a forgotten age of myth and empire. And people getting their limbs chopped off. Here's a review of Gladiator Sword of Vengeance. I also give you the greatest gladiator in the history of the empire. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your... Ew. Yes, citizens of Mighty X-Play, blood floweth like a river in Acclaim's newest hack and slash, Gladiator Sword of Vengeance. You play Invictus Thrax, a rugged, oil-slathered man on a gruesome mission. The corrupt emperor, Aruntius, conspired with the dark gods Phobos and Demos to take the throne and send you to an unfair death in the arena. Unfortunately, annoying child gods Romulus and Remus resurrect Thrax to set Rome back on the straight and narrow. Bloody retribution must put things right. As the body count climbs into the hundreds and you make due progress through your trials, you'll find your beefy alter ego wielding not only the sword of vengeance, but also the scythe gauntlets of vengeance and the axe of vengeance. No word on if you'll wield a mop of vengeance or a sponge of vengeance to clean up the mess you're making. Which brings us to an important point, the violence. There's a lot of it. Certain enemies are tougher than their brethren, and as worthy opponents, you can give them a violent push through death's door by tapping the circle button when their life bar turns red. A barbaric cutscene will follow, and while they kind of disrupt the flow of combat, there's something to behold. See, we can show you these, because they're just skeletons. When it's a real person, the results are a little more disturbing. So we covered it in cute kittens. Ah! Oh, kitty. So cute! The bloody berserker-style combat is easily the most enjoyable activity in the game, much more so than the seemingly endless number of levers you have to pull and keys you have to turn. Fight! Turn key. Fight! Turn key. Uh. It will take a thousand years to wash your blood from these walls. It's hard to take a bald man wearing a too tight speedo seriously. But I do know there's something about a scantily clad man chasing another scantily clad man that makes me giggle. Still, the time of reckoning comes for Gladiator's sort of vengeance. It certainly cannot be faulted for its beautiful world and dramatic vocal performances. Indeed, they do great justice to the myths on which the game is loosely based. The fighting is both spectacular and bloody. This pleases the gods greatly when it does not involve breaking pots. On the other hand, should you perish in battle, the automatic save system will force you to repeat arduous trials and reclaim items you have rightfully won. Such injustice doth greatly anger the gods. Such a system should spend eternity in Hades. And so we must pass to verdict. Neither a thumbs up or a thumbs down. X-Play awards Gladiator three out of five. <laughs> Thus, we leave you with what you really want to see. More gory cutscenes. Enjoy it! <laughs> Oh, kitty. So oh, cute! The kitten was adorable. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like how its meows almost drowned out the death screams. Yeah, they did such a good job of that, except yeah. for crunching it. And if you like to watch a cat free kill scene from Gladiator, you'll find that at our website. TechTV.com slash xplay. We have multiple kill scenes there for your enjoyment. Multiple kills? That's better than one. It is. Now, today's email, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, it's from Kareem. He writes, I own one game, Eternal Darkness for the GameCube, and it's all I need. But now that I've successfully beat the dang thing three times, I think I need to move on. What should my second game be? Keep in mind, I really, really like Eternal Darkness. Really? Really. Well, Kareem, I really like Eternal Darkness too, but you're right. It's time to move on. I admire his attention span and dedication. Yeah. Now, I'm going to assume that you only own the GameCube and that you like survival horror. Pretty good assumption, so I would recommend the remake of the first Resident Evil for the GameCube. 
Okay, the story isn't as good as Eternal Darkness, but the graphics are phenomenal. Plus, you can complete the game as different characters uh, with various degrees of difficulty, so it has good replay value, and that's what he likes to do. Now, if you liked Eternal Darkness for the gameplay, which was exquisite, I'd yeah. actually recommend Metroid Prime. It's not similar in the way it looks, but you go through the game, you know, trying to discover and explore, and it, it is kind of scary just in the way that it's creepy and you're all alone and it's things that go and... walk out of the, the, the slime and the muck yeah. and the mire. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it is a gorgeous game. It is a beautiful game yeah. as well. Okay, if you want to read the review from Metroid Prime or any other review, you can find it on our website. TechTV.com slash exploit. We have a lot of reviews there, so if you're thinking about buying a game, go there first and see what we have to say about it. Yeah. Good night. Today on X-Play, two of the...